What is going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Fernando Herrera and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you the difference in business model of having a big tire shop and a small tire shop. Now before we continue please help me by smashing that like button subscribe and consider following me on LinkedIn or Instagram for more updates uh, you know on a daily basis. Now let's talk about the big tire shop model. A big tire shop typically includes a large service bay and a much larger facility to house at least 10 to 14,000 tires. The goal of a big tire shop is to really have the tire available for the customer when they need it. So again, if a customer comes in with a size, the big tire shop really in essence wants to have that tire in stock. They don't have to have all the brands, but at least have an option in that size that they can sell to the customer rather than traditionally waiting for a supplier to bring it or for someone to go and pick it up from a distributor. The majority of the revenue for big tire shops come from tire sales, obviously, because they have a lot of tires and they need to turn over a lot more of these tires. They also tend to lean more towards wholesale. So visiting dealerships, rental car companies or other tire shops, because again, they have a large stock of inventory. And they also know not to underestimate the power of rebate programs uh, for specific manufacturers because again, a lot of these big tire shop stores are getting tens of thousands of dollars or thousands of dollars you know, in rebates every quarter from manufacturers like Toyo, Hercules, Goodyear, you name it. Now let's talk about the small tire shop uh, business model. These obviously are much smaller tire shops or we could call them much more traditional because these are the most popular type of tire shops out there. They typically have around two to three service doors, you know, where you could just drive in one vehicle and, you know, it's like a service bay. They do tend to do a lot more mechanical work or, you know, services such as like alignments, brakes, shocks, and they still might stock some tires, but not as much tires as, you know, a big tire shop. They might stock anywhere between 100 to up to 3,000 tires per store. Small tire shops really try to stock on the most popular tire sizes rather than trying to stock one of everything. But again, they do try to stock at least for what's most likely to come through the door. Small tire shops do, however, tend to ask customers to change sizes more often. Again, at least in my experience, I've noticed that a tire shop that has a smaller or taller size than what the customer originally has will be more inclined to try to you know, motivate the customer to just change to that size. Again, sometimes it, the, the size change doesn't really matter, but uh, you'll see that those change modifications in smaller tire shops rather than the big tire shops, right? Because the big tire shops will just simply have the size and they'll give the customer the size that they already have. The smaller tire shops, they want the sell, so they'll kind of promote the customer say, hey, you know what? Well, rather than waiting for the tire to get here, how about you just go with this size? It's gonna be okay, you know, we'll get it done. So now that we've talked a little bit about the difference in business models, I still wanna go over some key points that you wanna make sure you keep in mind, whether you're trying to open a big tire shop or a small tire shop, or you know, if you're just curious like me. Surprisingly enough, again, just in my findings, I have found that smaller tire shops tend to be a lot more profitable than big tire shops. And this really is because they have a lot less pressure to move volume in terms of tires because of all the tires they stock. So just think about it. If you're a big tire shop, you have 14,000 tires that you have in your you know, warehousing space or in your tire shop and you have to move it. You know, you probably already paid it. You're probably gonna have to pay it and you're more incentivized to just push that product in and out. You're more in a cash flow uh, game at that, in that sense. And so a big tire shop that gets a customer in the door, they're gonna be a lot more inclined to just give the tire a little cheaper just to get that sale and just to get that tire moving. Uh, a, tire, a small tire shop, on the other hand, won't have that pressure and most of the times, you know, they'll charge the customer what, you know, they want to charge a customer, uh, sometimes even a premium. And so that's why, you know, smaller tire shops, in summary, could be a lot more profitable when it comes to comparing the percentages of how much profit they're making, right? So when I get the message or comment from someone saying, wow, you're only charging, you know, 30% markup of your total invoice, well, yes, because a lot of our stores are large, big tire shops and we're going more towards the volume rather than the 50, 60% GP. But again, uh, there's an argument for both sides, right? I do agree that 60% is a lot better and why would we work for the same pretty much for less money? Uh, but you know, there's just something to keep in mind uh, on the differences. 
Now, big tire shops also keep in mind, they are placed in more industrial or warehousing areas. So you don't typically see a big, large tire warehouse uh, open to the retail that does service and like next to a Walmart because it's very expensive, right? These companies need a big, uh, a big warehouse and you know, you're not gonna be paying prime uh, cost uh, just for a tire shop, it's unsustainable. And so most of the time they'll find a warehouse that's cheap, uh, you know, square footage is cheap. And so that way they'll try to just invite customers over to their location because of the cost savings, you know? So the catch here is letting customers know by shopping with us and driving through an industrial area, you can actually save money when buying tires. And so again, the companies that have been able to pull this off do very well, but again, uh, it's important to you know, just keep that in mind. And then small tire shops or regular tire shops, we could call them too, uh, those are more located in prime real estate, right? So right off uh, highways, uh, maybe right next to a Walmart or a McDonald's. And so these are uh, tire stores that are counting on people stopping by when they get a, a flat or simply because they see them when they went bought their groceries and they say, hey, I need some tires and I'll just stop by this tire shop. And again, that's why they have the ability to charge a little bit more, but at the same time, you know, rent uh, sometimes, oftentimes is actually a lot more expensive in these places than you might even expect on, a, on an industrial level. So again, just to summarize guys, let me just tell you the big key point differences from a big tire shop and a small tire shop, okay? So big tire shops typically have a large service bay uh, and they hold anywhere between four to 14,000 tires, right? We'll call it like that. Uh, they focus more on having a wide amount of inventory uh, and they also try to reduce as much reliance on their suppliers. They don't wanna buy as much from ATD or uh, US Auto Force or whoever. They wanna stock as much and they probably would prefer buying overseas, you know, factory direct. Inventory turnover for them is extremely important. What this means is how many times in a year does our inventory turn over? So if I have 14,000 tires, how long does it take for me to run over through my 14,000 tires? And so ideally you should be looking at a turnover of two. Uh, again, some people say that's a little too low, a little too high, but tires, you know, especially uh, some sizes are very hard to turn over that frequent. Ideally, again, it's just a tip, uh, but ideally you would want to get some data, some analysis of which sizes are turn turning over a lot more frequently, which ones aren't and then maybe reduce the stock of those sizes uh, if that's what you choose, right? But uh, again, uh, big tire shops focus turnover metrics a lot more. And then again, their main revenue comes from actual wholesale or tire sales because they're, they're more in the, in the game of selling tires. Uh, and, and really they make a lot of their profits through rebates um, and again, through actually purchases, right? So instead of buying through ATD, they maybe buy through a manufacturer overseas and they save, you know, $10,000. And so that's how they're making their money. The, tire, the small tire shop uh, key points really here is they usually have two to three business bays. They offer mechanical, basic mechanical services and alignments. Uh, they do tend to stick to a lot less tires anywhere between 100 to 4,000, uh, focusing on the most common sizes and really offering alternatives if they don't have anything or that size in stock. They also do tend to rely more on distributors. So again, like ATD, Tire Hub, or regional distributors, they tend not to buy from overseas manufacturers because they don't have the space you know, to house a thousand tires just in one shot. Uh, again, some do, but it's not very common. Uh, and then surprisingly enough, these tire shops are a lot more profitable when it comes to uh, profit margins, right? So just keep that in mind. Uh, this could be also because of less pressure to move, you know, a large amount of tires and, and the amount of capital. It does go to say that a big tire shop is gonna require a lot more capital than a small tire shop when it comes to inventory, right? So. Small tire shops are also located in more prime real estate locations compared to big tire shops, you know, just wholesale boxes. So again, now that you have both points of views of kind of like the difference between a big tire shop and a small tire shop, these are some considerations you should have if you're thinking in opening one of the other. So uh, a big tire shop model is really suitable for those who uh, have a substantial amount of capital or who have a partner or a supplier that's willing to partner with them. So again, there is some suppliers out there that are willing to say, hey, you know what, we'll give you half a million, a million dollars worth of inventory. Uh, you know, just make sure you're taking care of it and you're managing it and you don't have to come up with that capital upfront and you can move it around, you know, through wholesale. So that's, uh, you know, you need, 
just keep that in mind. If you're gonna go with the big shop uh, way, you need, you're gonna need capital regardless. Now, also another consideration is that the small tire shop model is a lot more adaptable, so allowing for gradual scaling up. So it's very hard to scale up a big tire shop uh, because you know it's just the resources it takes, it's too complicated. So rather than doing multiple big tire shops, if you want multiple locations, I would say go with the small business shop model. It just works better. And if you're gonna go with the big tire shop model, then just make sure you're picking one, max two locations in a city. Uh, and again, I, I still think one location is just more than enough. Small tire shops also can uh, be a lot easier to reach break even. So again, um, you know, even though you're paying higher in rent, the profit is higher. And so it could be a lot easier for you to reach that break even. With a big tire shop, uh, it's a, lot, a little bit more complicated. It normally takes a year to two years to start breaking even. And oftentimes it really depends on how aggressive you get with your customer acquisition, right? So going to dealerships, rental car companies, tire shops, uh, fleet accounts, and so again, um, it takes time. And so it depends on how good your salesperson will be. It depends on a lot of factors. So just keep that in mind. But once you have relationships and customers in here, uh, which again, you could say the same for the small tire shops, right? But uh, those, those could go on for, for years. But well guys, there you guys have it. Th those are my intakes about uh, the difference between a big tire shop and a small tire shop. And uh, you know, kind of like my suggestions on which business model to pick. Uh, if you do have questions about this specific topic, feel free to comment below or email me, uh, reach out to me via LinkedIn. I'll be more than happy to, you know, help in any way or form I can. But again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Peace.